Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Show It Better. And today we are going to continue the second episode of the architecture plan. If you haven't seen the first episode, I recommend you go to the link down below and watch it first. So today we're going to continue. Last time we left off, um, we, we, we did all the textures and now we are going to um, select the trees and draw trees in to the building. So what we have to do is uh, remember that you imported a forest style um, image into in, in, into your, your your file. Now you're going to mask it out, and that has to be all black. And with a white brush, a white hard brush, you're going to start painting. You're going to start painting in the, the the trees and where you want them. Also, I here in the parking lot, I just separated the textures because I didn't want it to look gray as well. So, I mean green as well, so I just painted it gray. But as I, as I was telling you guys, with a white brush standing on the mask of the trees, you're just going to paint them in. So you're going to paint small trees, big trees, depending on the size. And you see, because we have the texture down below, it's going to give it, you know, like some, something interesting. Now, here you have to be very, very careful because as you can see, I got a little bit excited at first and it just looked like a polka dot, polka dot um, you know, thingy and it just had too much tension. So don't do them so harsh or so strong. So here we're going to see how uh, you can apply a mask over it, which is going to be a hue saturation mask to change it and then just make it a, a monochromatic monochromatic color and make it uh, you know mesh with the background another thing you can do is um, create another mask over it another hue saturation mask then change the hue saturation to for example it's a, a a yellowish color and paint only some trees yellow and you can do this with any color just to give it a variety of color to the trees the next thing we're going to do when we create a new layer we're going to pull down the fill on that layer right click and click blending options then we're going to click um, drop shadow and this is going to generate a shadow over all of our trees so we want it to be a very soft shadow then we are also going to activate the shadow that we exported from sketchup also, it's going to be a very, very soft shadow. You're going to, you know, draw it in with a mask as we are doing with everything. So remember, if you didn't get a step, you can slow down the video in the in the YouTube settings so you can see it much better. OK, so don't don't get angry or anything, but you can slow down the video. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our grass layer where in episode one we uh, we, we kind of hit it all and near the building with a very soft subtle brush we're going to paint a little bit in so it, it grabs more attention towards the building than towards the outside and another step we're going to do is go inside of our building select for example the circulation space and we are going to uh, create a new layer and color it differently so it can stand out much more you you, you you can color it red white gray whatever also what I'm doing is oh, I'm creating a mask over it and applying applying textures to it so it looks like it just doesn't doesn't look like a color painted over it but it looks like a concrete texture it looks like a very rough texture I also did this to the second cafeteria space so now you can see it it's very you know, it, ha it has another lecture of it. Um, so you can do this with your whole plane, you know, just to give it texture in the places that don't have texture. You, you can have like a dirty brush or something and you can apply a mask over it and it will look much better. We also are going to apply the same thing we did to the, to the trees, the drop shadow. We're going to apply it to the layer that we have our road in. So in, remember, it has to be in the same angle. So here we can see it, it's starting to look kind of nice, but still the trees are 
having too much attention and the attention wants to be, you know, we, we want the attention always to be in the building, not so much in the landscape for this occasion, right? So what we're going to do is the what we're going to do is desaturate the trees a little bit and maybe towards the edges erase some of them so they won't have so much attention we, we want the, the, the big trees the ones that call the attention towards the center and towards the center of the building this is more of an of a practice and error thing i mean i can't tell you a formula i can't say like hey this is the color you have to use and this is what you don't have to use no i mean you just have to test it out plan by plan and then you will just get like the hang of it. You can buy this file in the link down below to see the specific layers because I can mention all of them but there are so many adjustments that are done so you can buy it and see what adjustments were done and how, how they were done. Um, also another thing I did is uh, the topography map you can uh, put it over the whole the whole scheme and set it to difference or you know set control i so it can be a white a some white lines that that's something we will also want to do also i had the grid texture applied over the road texture so it it you know just the more textures you have the more rich it gets and it, the more interesting it gets also remember that the architecture plan has to stand out much more so if, if the lines can be black and it can be darker, it would be much more because it can have more, much more tension. And in the end, you know, you can also apply the names of the, of, of the room so it doesn't look like so white and empty. No, you know, so just with a, with a normal typography that is very clear to read, you just apply the names to it. Something interesting we also did with only brushes was apply a, a person, a top view person. So you can download this online, but I just wanted to do it manually. So what you do is um, you grab a, a normal brush and you draw a person how it looked like at the top. And you do it, you, put, you apply a drop shadow to it, scale it correctly, and just copy and paste it. That's basic and simple but it gives it so much richness to the plan it's so incredible again if you're having any doubts you can slow down the video or you can you know purchase the file there you can find you know everything i did everything i did so now you can see oof, the plan is so much better it just you know the trees aren't, aren't having too much attention but they're still good and in the end what we want to do is just align the canvas correctly so it, it, it would all be centered and our and our eyes can go to the places we want them to go you know and yeah well this is basically it thank you guys for watching if you have any doubts post them in the comments or you know if help help resolve other people's doubts in the comments remember you can slow down the video but it's pretty basic right so so what, what you need to do is create masks okay so that's the big tip create masks so you don't damage any layer next you always have to try and see it's not a specific color it's not a specific technique it can't tell you hey man do this or hey man do that no i mean you just have to try and see that's that's what all of these tutorials are about, are about i mean i don't come here with an idea like honestly this was just like i'm a wing it kind of person and that's what came out you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so wait, thank you guys for watching. Remember you to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for behind the scenes stuff. So, see you guys later. Bye.